Good day, this is ACT 309, Public Sector Accounting. I will be taking you through study section 4, Basic Accounting for Non-Profit Organization. When you have studied this section, you should be able to, number one, explain non-profit organization. You should be able to discuss generally accepted accounting principles. You should be able to explain profit and non-profit accounting. And lastly, you should be able to enumerate basic financial statement of non-profit organization. What is a non-profit organization? A non-profit organization is an organization that possesses the following characteristics which make it different from a business enterprise. Number one, the con uh, contributions of significant amounts of resources from resource providers who do not expect commensurate coming back to him or her. Number two, operating for the purpose of providing services to the community rather than aiming at profit. And lastly, absence of ownership interests like those of business enterprises. Non-profit organizations have those characteristics in varying degrees. Organizations that are clear, that clearly fall outside this definition include all investor-owned enterprises and entities that provide dividends, lower costs, or other economic benefits directly and proportionately to their owners, members, or participants, such as mutual insurance organizations, credit unions, farm and rural electric cooperatives and employee benefits. What are these examples of non-profit organization? And this can be categorized into different uh, uh, different uh, types. We have civic and community organizations, private and community foundations, religious organizations, voluntary health, and with organizations, research and scientific organizations, and we have social and country clubs. Let's explain this one after the other. Under civic and community organizations, civic organizations are composed are, are, are comprised of people who join together who are joined together to provide the service or services to their community. Non-profit organizations are considered civic organizations because they are formed for the purpose of servicing a public or mutual benefit other than the pursuit and accumulation of profits for its owners or investors. Non-profit organizations take various forms such as charities, foundations, social welfare or advocacy groups, professional or traders association and religious organizations. Let's talk about it second time, which is private and community foundations. Community foundations are grants making public charities that are dedicated to improving the lives of people in a defined local geographical area. They bring together the financial resources of individuals, families, and business to support effective nonprofit in their communities. What about religious organizations? Religious organizations encompass houses of worship for the world's major religions, including Christianity and other religions such as Judaism, Islam, Buddhism, and Hinduism. Religious are print and broadcast nonprofits, as well as organizations dedicated to interfaith. They broadcast nonprofit as well as organizations dedicated to interfaith issues are also fall into this category. So we are talking that we are uh, trying to explain the religious print um, uh, uh, and broadcast nonprofits, as well as organizations dedicated to interfaith issues, also fall in this category. A faith-based organization (FBO) is not a legally defined term, but it is often used to refer to religious organizations and other charitable organizations affiliated or identified with one or more religious organization. For example, the Corporation of National and Community Services defined as MBO. Let's talk about uh, uh, the voluntary health and organizations and welfare organizations. Voluntary health and welfare organizations uh, generally provide guidance training goods and services to the general public according to their specific missions. Examples of voluntary health and welfare organizations include the following 
the Salvation Army, Red Cross, Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, and so on and so forth. Non-profit organizations whose purpose is to find a cure for or help people who have diseases such as cancers, diabetes, heart disease, or muscular uh, diatrophy. So these are some of the examples of non-profit organizations we can have in our environment. Let's move on as we talk about the definition of generally accepted accounting principles. Generally accepted accounting principles, uh, commonly referred to as GAAP, are basically the accounting rules and conventions that are used to prepare financial statements. They provide guidance to financial statements preparers to tell them how to account for various types of transactions, how various types of transactions as well as assets and liabilities are to be reflected in the financial statements and what disclosures are required to be included in the financial statement. In some cases, GAAP may result simply from common practices that have been long used by financial statement preparers over a very long period of time. These rules are said to have general acceptance, meaning that you cannot go to an authoritative accounting rule, be, uh, rule book and find an accounting rule that results in that specific accounting principle. More, than, uh, more often than not, GAAP consists of accounting principles rather than specific rules for accounting uh, for specific types of transactions. What is profit? What is non-profit accounting? Accounting for non-profit organization is very much like accounting for or for profit, with an extra level of detail. It is similar to project uh, accounting. Revenue is not just revenue. Revenue could be related to a specific program or uh, to a grant, and so on and so forth. The source and kind of revenue need to be tracked. Most accounting concepts that apply to for profit also apply to non-profit. GAAP, which is a generally accepted accounting principles, is followed and is the same concept but with a twist. There are differences in reporting and an extra step in booking both revenues and expenses. Non-profit uh, accounting uh, is also known as fund accounting. Accounting for non-profit, not for non-profit, can also be referred to uh, fund accounting. The word fund means different things to different people. For our purpose in this uh, st uh, study section, fund and net asset are meant to be the same thing. Many years ago, funds could be set up uh, uh, regardless of being unrestricted or not. The concept then was much looser than now, where funds are used to segregate categories of revenues received. Currently, the main purpose of fund accounting is the stewardship of financial resources received and expended in compliance with legal or uh, other requirements. It is not about investors' in, uh, interests, it is about having adequate fund balance or net asset to provide for, pre, uh, for present and future programs and services. Let us move on as we talk about the basic financial statement of a not-for-profit organization. And we are going to explain this under uh, uh, the this different statement we have, which are four. We have the statement of financial position. We have the statement of activities. We have the statement of cash flows. And we have notes to the financial statement. So these are the basic statement of a not-for-profit uh, not organization. And they are very, very important. So let's talk about them one after the other. Many non under statement of financial position, which is the first category, many non accountants will probably refer to the statement of financial position as a balance sheet. The statement of financial position provides a snapshot of a not for profit organization's assets, liabilities, and net assets. 
When presenting a complete set of financial statements in accordance with JAAP, the statement of our financial position should be prepared as of the not-for-profit organization's fiscal year end. Let's talk about the second statement. The statement of activities uh, present the increases and uh, decreases to a not-profit organization's net asset over a period of time. For fiscal year financial uh, uh, statement, the statement of activities presents the increases and decreases in net assets over the entire fiscal year. The concept of increases and decreases in net assets may be a technically pure definition of this statement's content. A non-accountant might understand this statement better if it were termed the op operating statement or the income statement. What about the third statement, which is the statement of cash flow? The final statement include the final uh, financial statement included in a not-for-profit organization's complete set of financial statement prepared in accordance with JAP is the statement of cash flows. The cash flow statement provides information about the non-for-profit organizations received and disbursement of cash. While this principle sounds fairly easy to apply, there are some specific guidelines as to how this information is presented. Notes to the financial statements. Many readers of the financial statement of not-for-profit organizations overlook the importance of the notes that are part of this statement. The notes for, to the financial statement are an integral part of the statement of financial position, the statement of activities, and the statement of ca cash flows. The notes to the financial statement often provide several pages of information regarding the nature of the non-profit activities as well as summary of its significant uh, accounting policies. The sources of the requirement of the notes to the financial statement are many. In addition, there are also some core notes that have to be included. One of the most significant notes which should generally be the first notes reported is the summary of significant accounting policies. In certain instances, not-for-profit organizations can choose from among a number of acceptable accounting principles to use. Where so, such choice exists, a summary of, of significant accounting policies help the reader understand what policies by choosing by the organization, which assists the reader in understanding the statement as well as in comparing them to those of another non-profit non -profit organization that may have used different acceptable principles. I hope you have learned one or two things in this uh, study section, and I hope that you will continue to learn more in the subsequent study sections as we move on. Thanks for listening.